everybody. I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome to a weekend in my life vlog. This was a really chill weekend where I did have some plans, but it was just, I don't know, it was a chill weekend. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. This was Saturday morning. I started filming around like 1030 in the morning, but I had been up for a little while, but I didn't start vlogging until around then. So I'm just getting my Apple Watch on first task of the day is finishing the Christmas decoration decorations. They all had to be put away. I am usually like a mid-January girly when it comes to taking down the decorations. I just, I love having the decorations up so much. It makes it so cozy, so I always get really sad when I have to take it down. And also putting the Christmas tree away, like as you can see here, just the bane of my existence. This is the worst so I think that's another reason why I keep the tree up for so long. Um, I do have an artificial tree, so I am getting ready to pack it all up, and I actually use my dad's basement as storage because I just don't have the closet space, so very lucky that he lets me use his basement. Um, and so my apartment just with these boxes out has just looked so messy the last couple days, so I'm just so excited to finally get everything back in order. So we are just putting it back in the box. And like anything, of course, when you're putting it back in the box, it feels like it doesn't fit, but we got it to fit. And this is ready to go in the car and head to my dad's. So I wanted to just kind of dust and even though it is an artificial tree, it still gives off some pine needles when I put it away. So I want to do vacuum before I kind of get my house back in order the way it usually looks. So I'm putting my fake plant back and trying to find the right spot for everything. My basket of blankets. So that's how it usually looks year round. Um, I think I want to get a new plant though. That plant is just too short for that area, but anyway, for now, it's fine. Then it's uh, Bible study time. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I feel like you guys know the drill by now. I try to read a little bit every morning. Um, I started reading Genesis for the first time because I figured new year, let's start from the beginning. So I just took a few minutes and did that. And now I'm trying something new for breakfast. I had never had these before. I'm doing like a fast right now um, with my church where I gave up certain things for about three weeks. Um, one of them being like cheese and feta cheese and stuff. That's what I usually eat for breakfast. So I had to kind of get creative. So while those waffles are cooking in the toaster oven, I am putting away some of my dishes. These are all my dishes and like Tupperware that I used the day before the Friday that I take to work and filling up my Stanley for the day. Um, I'm pretty bad on weekends or like during the week I usually drink two of those but on the weekends I'll probably only drink one a day but at least I'm getting some water in. So here we go, first taste test. I didn't have any syrup, so we're just kind of going with butter. But honestly, guys, these were really good. The blueberry made it taste like a dessert almost because it was kind of sweet. And I love blueberries, as you guys know, so I was actually pleasantly surprised with those. And then I'm going to take my gummy vitamins like a child. Um, the same Ollie ones I take, I've been taking for years. And then me, I accidentally bought the kids airborne like a numb nuts, so, uh, but whatever, we're still gonna eat it, because I'm not gonna throw them away, so, then I am just getting ready to go run to the supermarket to get my groceries done. This morning, I was actually supposed to help my friends paint their new apartment, but they just had too many people, and I was like, okay, the guys can do it, like, they told me, they said, you can still come, but we really don't think we need you, honestly, and I said, okay, I have plenty of things I need to do, so, um, that actually gave me the opportunity to go grocery shopping, which I usually do on Sundays, but I knew that the next day, Sunday, was going to be a busy day, so it actually worked out perfectly. Here I am, almost, like, spilling all the popcorn everywhere. I tried to make it look nice again, um, but just getting my basic necessities for the week, and now here I am putting them all away. My cupboards and my fridge were looking quite 
quite bare and empty, so I was very excited to have food again. Uh, my little produce bowl. I love this bowl. I got it from Home Goods. I, yeah, I think it is Home Goods, and it's perfect for that little cabinet I have there for like extra storage. That's where all my produce goes. Um, and so now I'm like getting ready. I wanted to get other things done, as you're going to see in a second. I wanted to film some content. I wanted to film a podcast episode. So here I am getting ready with my rollers and my hair, um, just to kind of give my hair some more volume. So yeah, I'm getting ready to film some content. So first things first, I wanted to film a, a YouTube short to post. I've been really liking those lately. So this is my setup. I'm unboxing a new perfume. So uh, so I was getting ready to do there, and then after that, I'm getting the living room ready to film my newest podcast episode. That episode is actually up already. Maybe some of you have watched it already. The link is in my bio, but just talking about like my goals and my vision for 2024, things I'm leaving in 2023, and just kind of like figuring out how to figure out what is best for you or like what you should be. It's hard to explain. Just watch the video. <laughs> um, but just kind of basically like finding your calling and like finding your purpose and, and that kind of thing. So that's what I was trying to talk about in that podcast episode. So again, yeah, the link is in the bio. So this is just a little behind the scenes of my setup. It's not a traditional podcast setup. I know, but hey, it works for me for now. I basically just use all my ASMR equipment. So I got that done. That took about an hour, and now <laughs> I'm tired at this point. Third outfit of the day. I'm getting ready to go to my mom's because we were getting together, a few of us, to watch the Kansas City game. If you know, you know. My stepdad is a big Kansas City fan, has been for a really long time, before the Taylor Swift stuff, before the Super Bowls. I don't know why. Here I am eating a wing. You're welcome. Um, but yeah, he's a really big fan, so I've known about the Chiefs, and I've been watching their games for years before they got all this attention, so it was a big deal because this was the divisional, so it determines whether they are going to the playoffs or not, and they are, so yay. Uh, I wanted to just show you guys the basement. I use the film down here all the time, so if you're an OG, you remember this basement well. I still love coming home and hanging out like this. It's so fun. So we watched the game. It was a pretty good game. Um, I've seen better, but it was pretty good. The Chiefs did win so yay. And now I'm heading back home. It was like 12, 12.30 at night at this point, so there was nobody on the road. Um, I know you saw a white claw there. I only had one, so I was more than fine to drive. I was there for hours. Um, now I am home. It's like 1 a.m. I'm working on the podcast episode because I wanted it to be filmed. I'm sorry, I wanted it to go live on Sunday, so long night for me, but worth it. Here we are, Sunday morning. It's time to get ready for church. I am just kind of giving my hair a little shush, kind of bringing it back to life a little bit. Um, and I was volunteering at church this day, so I was there for a little bit longer than I would be on a typical Sunday. Um, so it was maybe like 10, 15 at this point in the morning, something like that. Um, so we're just getting ready and but not too hungry. I ate so much at my mom's the night before, so I wasn't that hungry, so I just popped some blueberries in my mouth, took my vitamins as I usually do. See, here you go. I took the airborne ones as well, and now we're ready to go. This is the outfit. I love these pants, and I got so many compliments on them. They're from Amazon, and I love them. Then I didn't film after church, but I got some lunch with friends, and it was a good day. I got to my dad's house around 5 p.m. This is their cat, Stormy. He's adorable. He's a blue Persian. We love him. Um, and then we just, they ordered some pizza, but I had eaten, so I didn't eat. And we watched some Big Bang Theory. We have a lot of, like, family Sundays that we do sometimes where we just kind of sit, eat, and watch a movie together. We put on Oppenheimer, which was a three-hour movie. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I slept for the first two hours. I just the heat was on, I was comfy with a blanket, and I just fell asleep, so, sorry. <laughs> I got home around 10 o'clock at night, and I wanted some tea, so I am making a pot of tea, I'm making a pot of, well, water, essentially, there, bringing the water to a boil, and then I'm making some cozy chamomile. Um, chamomile doesn't 
make me like sleepy like it does to some people but I just think it tastes good so I'm gonna let that steep for a little bit I try to have a cup of tea every day and I usually have either chamomile or peppermint peppermint is really good for like soothing your stomach so I like that and then it's time to get ready for bed but I wasn't going straight to bed I was gonna hang out for a little bit but I just wanted to get my skincare routine and so I usually use like a makeup balm rather than just the wipe but I ran out of the balm so makeup wipe it is I'm waiting for the new balm to come in the mail and then we're just washing away everything I use the gentle skin by Aveeno daily cleanser and I really like it so after all the skincare is done it's time to just chill this is my really attractive outfit that I have on it was so cold when I got home so that's gonna be it I'm going to sit down and watch some Netflix for like an hour before I head to bed but thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you next time